Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Hello viewers. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, this is an entertainment analysis show that basically talks about everything juicy, trendy, everything about your favorite celebrities. So if that's what you're, you know, you are up to feeling like this morning, then you don't need to drop that. In fact, just throw it with the remote. And to do that with me, I have really, really talented, awesome personalities, and they are Ifa Shake and Emerald Bibi. How's it going? <laughs> How you doing? Well, oh, how are you? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I know where that came from. Where? Uh-uh. Any baby. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's my baby, to be very honest. But, yeah. yeah it means, it it means that you're warming yeah, up yeah, yeah, to yeah, me. And it sounded like us, actually. Who? Any and Any baby. Emmy baby. baby. Emerald, Emmy Emmy baby. baby. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just N and M. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you guys ready for today? What are you feeling like? I'm feeling like... Today's one is going to be basketball. Today, it's going to be chill. Like <laughs> I wanted to sing that for you. Do, 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 do. do you feel like doing something? Yeah. Okay. Then let's be fair. Exactly. Okay. Can do it. Because on social media, I don't know, recently, there's a weird trend that has been going on. Do you have a tattoo? No, I don't. You should. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, that you do. Trend. I don't have that a trend. That trend. <laughs> I don't have a tattoo. So bizarre. Okay, so you that you have a tattoo. I don't have a tattoo. Okay. Are you lying right now? Yes, I it is. I do not have a tattoo. I have awesome tattoos. Okay. Sure. Okay. okay, so with your awesome tattoos, do you see yourself ever mm. having a, a celebrity's tattoo on you? God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid. What if it's even like a quote or something? What? A quote. God forbid. Mm. Okay, what does the tattoo say then? My tattoos? Mm. All my tattoos have meanings. Mm -mm. And some of them what? are very... You should have what done is it? No, 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 no. Don't some screw of them. No, you, you said, like, what all is of them... it? I have a lot. I have... Mm. Just give me one. Mm? Give, or give me your favorite. Like, what... All right, so this one right here says mm. loyalty defined. And I think I got that after I got into a fight for a friend. And I got a scar. So I'm actually very loyal to my friends. Very, very loyal, actually, to a fault. And yes, I got that. And this one, no, okay. Off the one. mic. <laughs> <laughs> off the mic. Yeah. Should we turn it off? It's okay. I mean, mm. if you if that's your favorite, then yeah, that's my favorite. Does anyone else? Yeah, this one around um my tie area. We're but getting I wouldn't freaky be... here. It's okay. Would, we don't I'll, want I'll... to know. It's all right. It's all so right. I don't have to one. Explain no, that because that okay. happened because of somebody special. So. Yes, I got it's that one. Fine, it's fine, Ifei. It's okay. Yeah. You said, I have another one in <laughs> <laughs> I'm planning to get one. Okay. Hmm. Get my name in love. Your, your no name. love is what I'm about to write on my... But you Okay, let me know. Let's talk about this. But what? But what? But what? Nothing. Say it. Say it. No, maybe I could correct you. You don't have to, you don't have to correct me because what I'm about to say is fact. What's <laughs> a fact? You can't have no love there. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because... You make love there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put no love because right now I'm not attaching love to my penis anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh -huh. well, Blessing Okoroko has inked media personality Derele Edun's name and quote on her arm. The relationship expert, I don't know why she calls herself that, added to her tattoo collection and she filmed the process. Okoro paid tribute to her sons, Darcel and Brian, as she etched their names as she etched their names on her arm. She also added a quote by Denrele, which says, um, M A D, basically mad. Make a difference. Make a difference. Along her collarbone, she tattooed the words, My people perish for lack of knowledge. I really like that one. There is also a large tattoo on her back, just below her neck. Touched by the gesture, Edwin responded to um, Derele. He responded saying, um, Derele Edu said, mad, in all capitals, make a difference. And that's exactly what my spirit animal at her Instagram handle tattooed on her arm, right next to her son's names. What a stupendous honor. Blessing and I are both M-A-D. All right. Mado. I think so far, this is the, the most, yeah. Friend. Yeah, uh, and I think even with the celebrity tattoos, this, this is the most, this is the least tackiest I have seen because it's not his face, you know, it's not um, Bob Risky doing like the this, whole body, yeah, you know. you know, on your back and things like that. So I think it's not too bad, but uh, I don't know what you guys think. They should stop it already, <laughs> please. Did you see Katrina on the tundra? Yeah, the what was that? Speaker? What was that? What's wrong with that? What's with wrong who? with who? Katrina. 
Why, why is she saying why, all of those why, things? What's your issue? Somebody put a tattoo on your face. Okay, the thing is actually not. First off, it, was, it is a name. Thank you. So I don't know. Did, did the girl come out to mention that it was actually her? It was uh, Katrina yes, yes, herself that. Yes, she did. Okay, so it's, it's okay for her to do what she did. No, it's not okay. I it's okay. It's actually she said, okay. What's your problem? Oh. Oh, oh Benny, see, shift to the side. And guess I what? Mean. No, no, no. She no. was the one who came out. The, I think the celebrities forget their power. They forget that when they put out a tweet or they put out something and they expect their fans to do it, they've forgotten that they have very patriotic fans or very, um, what's it called now, obsessed fans that will go ahead and do the things that you ask them to do. You came out and you're like, um, we will feel like drawing my name on their body or mm. putting Katrina on their body. And then you now what come out after a girl did it. No, she, she now went back to a question and answer. And they asked her that, Katrina, is this really what you want? And then you said, no, I was joking. And then the next thing you saw a girl with a tattoo of your name on her body. You incited it. You Bro, instigated even if, it. Even if you no. don't say anything. And no, she did it. She was joking, to be fair. And, exactly. And, and, so and that was clear. It's not that enough for to anybody to say what her jokes are allowed for a lot of people. Even if you do not say anything and you do not joke, it is... Uh, for me, it feels like she's being deliberately naive. Like, she's faking her pretense as to why somebody would do that. When you're a celebrity, even if you're not a celebrity, you know how fans can work. Mm. You know that people have stickers of you all over their house. You know that they would yeah. spend all their money. People use their school fees to travel to go and meet you in some concert. Da -da 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 -da. There is no need to then subject one fan to, to humiliation like that. Thank you, I appreciate it. But please, though, I don't really need you guys to go um, as oh. far as doing all this. Let's just stop here. But that was what she did. That's not what she did. This is so ridiculous. That's, if we need to stop this thing. She's up to 17 this years old. Yes. This is only little girl. This is da-da-da-da-da-da. Calling her names. Oh, no. Who the heck do you even think you are? Sir? Because she somebody put their name on you. Or your Maybe she went too far with um, the way she handled it. But some, like summarizing everything she said, like just putting it in one word. That she she's worried just, that she's... There's nothing wrong with making your point with one million. See, there's no message you want girl. to say. If you don't say the message well, nobody hears what you're saying. That's Please, it. I'm, I think I stand with her actually on this one. I really stand with her because someone needs to actually say that. Like, you don't have to tattoo the person's oh, face or name. Please. Yeah, you can say that. You can say that. Yeah. That you don't have to tattoo somebody's name or face. It's one million naira. Right that, that's, no. that's, 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 you see, if it was Bob Brisky, see, Bob Brisky is, is probably the reason <clears> why <throat> Katrina did what she did. Where... True. But Brissy is yeah, actually yeah. encouraging people. people. Like, they know now that... Million, they, exactly, million, and Dubai, so one million, one, one million, million, one Dubai, million. One so million, I get Dubai. that. But then again, I've said this thing on, on this table so many times. Even if I'm a victim, the way I say my story is important. Mm. If I am disrespectful, if I am irrational, if I am whatever, whatever, I'm that is what people are going to focus on, not what exactly it is I'm that I'm saying. I'm not done, don't ask me. So my own share is that... If Katrina wants to advise people, you don't humiliate a fan, your own fan. Okay, so your in the problem process. is that she humiliated of the course, girl. Of course, that's my only problem. What's with the tattoos? Stop it. Whichever please. way, she has passed her message and the girl in question has she, responded. Uh, yeah, she has. What did she say? Just talking about it. She was upset now. She didn't like it. She was like, she did it because she wanted to do it, not because she wanted anything from Katrina. That's so a Katrina lie. Does that not is want a lie. Any, um, she, doesn't, she doesn't need any attention from Katrina. Da, 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 da. That is a lie. Yeah, you wanted to ask if I a question. No, no, no. Please She's leave me alone. Like, <laughs> questions. Okay. Want to say something? Say something. No, let's move on. You guys should get on. married already. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> do you want us to move on? Yes, please. By all Alrighty. Do you think you can be a billionaire's son and be broke? That's the question I'm asking you guys. Yeah, it's very possible. Very possible. I think so. Impossible. Okay, Nigerian singer Davido has recounted the period in his life where he had no money and no support. The music star and billionaire um, here made, his no made this known via his Instagram page on Tuesday. Damn, I, want to, I went to my old apartment where I used to live 12 years ago with Shino and B-Red. As hard, as hard as it is to believe, which is really, really hard, we had no money, no support, just us and a dream. 12 years later, we millions in road to a billion we thank god never stop believing he wrote obviously obviously i feel like if the video just breathes people will be like it's a lie you don't breathe air you breathe money <laughs> so obviously that's this has brought in a lot of um, speculations about his wealth and all of that but although to the table. 
that particular um, place that he lived and that time of his life is is somewhere a lot of people want to be in this 2021. And that's called broke. Yeah. To him, right? That's called broke. Now broke. Is but to another person, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. To another person, like a I begin to learn. To another person, he might. To another person, it might not be broke. It might be that's where I want to get to. So it's it's okay for some people to like relate to what he's saying and it's okay for some people to not relate to what he's saying. I relate to what he's saying. Quoting you, I remember you saying that um you would not um you're not you're not looking out for your father's wealth yeah, or yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. So that means you're trying to get yours, which means you're broke sometimes. And I remember you telling me you're broke. <laughs> so it is possible to be a yeah. billionaire son yeah. and still be broke. Absolutely. All right, so I was trying to school board of you because broke is very relative. Yes, what you call broke is not what Mr. You B think will. We need to I be mentioned school school that. <laughs> I mentioned yeah, that it's, here. It's, 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 it's very relative to people. So if a David o ever tells me he's broke and you're living in that type of apartment, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because that's a very suburb area in, in America. Okay. Atlanta. It's not very small, yeah, it's a suburb area. It's okay. It's like it's, it's a like very Magodo. okay. It's not, it's not, Magodo. Yes. yes. And Magodo is not suburb in Lagos. Not, but in comparison to Ikoi or Vi, so yeah, like you're making it look like it's one like the places gen, in Magodo gen, gen, gen are place. bigger than Vi or Ikoi. Mm. Yes. 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 We're trying to make a point. In Magodo in general, mm -hmm. Vi Koi in general, it's which not, is more highbrow. Of simple. course, Vi. Of course, you say, of course you say. Kui. Yeah. So it's not the but, most highbrow place in America. But that he was please, in. by all means, this guy had the you know basic amenities. He had the basic things. Americans needed. have the basic amenities. It's very very small. I'm not population talking about have. what America is giving to you. You need to listen more. I'm not talking about the things that America gives to you. I'm talking about what you have as a person. Do you understand now? If you're bringing America into play. I'm not talking about America. Talk about I'm America. talking about America. David O being broke. I'm not, does, what does America have to do with David O being broke? Because Think. you have to put into consideration that basic amenities is not a big deal it's in America. America. Yeah, that's true. I'm <laughs> talking about David Do having. That's okay, what I said. Just listen, let him finish. More. He finished David Do had the basic amenities. If he needed money for gas, he would get it. If he needed money for water, did he have money to buy alcohol? No. Did he have money to buy the other thing? Did he have money for food? Yes. How so can you say yes? <laughs> that that's different. That's totally different. No, you can't different. say yes. He he's the one who said He's broke, but did he explain to you his level of brokenness? So, you, so you can't exactly. narrow into that, to what you're That's saying That's what I'm now. saying, that it is relative. Now, David O needs to come out to tell you, oh, man, this is what I mean by broke, before everybody jumps on it and say that, okay, yes, but if it's I, broke. Can you not understand that in America, basic amenities are a normal I'm standard? I'm not talking about America. But That's this what is you America. are not getting. This is America. He is in America. I am America, not talking about David O's basic amenities in America. Uh, I'm talking about David O's personal basic amenities. I have basic amenities as if and not as a Nigerian. Okay, yes, okay. but okay, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm with you. But do you know that even despite David's basic amenities, while he lived in America, there is still the American basic amenities? Is that okay? But, you know, I've never disputed that fact with you. Okay. I'm just telling you, I'm talking about David's basic amenities. Right. Which is what you're not listening to. Are you listening now? If uh, we are, relax. Right, what we're just saying is that you, that, that still um, implies where he's living. If somebody in Nigeria says... My basic amenities is being able to pay rent and, and go to work and eat. That's, that's their basic. But that's not a Nigerian basic amenities. Yeah. Meaning that the most population of Nigerians don't have food to eat, can't make it to work, and don't have rent, right? Okay. In America, you can have a different level because, like you said earlier, it is relative. You can have different levels of, who, of what people think is a basic amenities to them. But at the end of the day, the general consensus is still that Americans have basic shelter, basic food. So it is not. It is impossible for you to say that Davido's brokenness is that he didn't even have the normal BM, American basic amenities. So maybe he couldn't live the lifestyle that he wanted, wanted. to. Yes, I agree to that. Maybe he couldn't, like you said, alcohol because alcohol is, is a luxury item. We're talking about basic amenities. I understand that. But when you start adding food, food there's food for free in America to people with, in shelter homes. There's food for free. Do you know what I'm trying the to say? The places so I'll go to that I'll eat for free right now, but if I say I'm broke, it's probably because I cannot afford it from a restaurant that I want to eat in. Okay, I get you, Sha. That's How what you guys that? actually, yeah, I, yeah, I, I get you. Even yeah, in Nigeria, there are places I'll saying. go to and they'll give me food. If I get what you're actually saying, but I, I understand. Anyway, moving on from that, it's still, I like what you said and I liked how you um, explained 
the idea of a, of a child from a wealthy home still not having anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, t okay, I, mean, I don't know billionaires, so I'm not going to speak for them, but middle class families, there's a lot of people that we know today, even if I scream from now to tomorrow, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke. Worst case scenario, I have a family to back me up, yeah. right? But that doesn't mean that I can't go through phases where I have nothing. Yeah. I have nothing. A lot of the time, it's also a personal decision. Sometimes your parents, and I think people are also sleeping on David's father because we don't know his values and stuff. Exactly. Sometimes some parents will withdraw their money from you. Leo Da Silva was here sitting on where you're sitting, having a conversation with us about how his mother was gone. His father was the only breadwinner that he had, and it was from a very comfortable home, and the dad stopped paying his funds stopped paying completely and he had to start hustling which is how he created his business and all of that now if that boy comes out and says he was broke and you find out that his father is one big person it will look like it's a lie but it is very possible for you yeah. to be broke and that's like the point of the conversation not really um davido's basic amenities but i don't know if anybody has anything else to say nah.